Hi everyone, this is size 14 jig hook and the bead I'm using is uh, slotted tungsten 2.8 millimeter copper bead and thread is rusty brown. Now I'm going to start below the eye, touch and turn. I will explain all the materials. I'm just going to come back just to give a nice shape to the body I'm just going to stay there, don't go too close to the bead yet and then keep going for the tail, this is actually a paint brush with a brown and black you know fibers on so I just took some off I don't want too much entail so basically just a few fiber and just a little shorter than a body length and then keep going around the band because these pattern swims upside down now for the body, this is a dark brown elastic, beading elastic actually, and uh, <clears throat> 0 0.8 millimeter. So if you melt one side and thin it down and then create a catching point like this. So cut this gently, hide all those materials using touch and turn. All the way. Take this extra one off. And I'm going to go back again because I need to work with the body. It's a bit uneven here, so making sure just to give a nice tapered shape to the body. Okay, now I'm going to stretch this. And now loose the stretch gradually to create a tapered shape. Come back because if it's slipping then because the surface is not even. So Just take your time when you're happy, you can always go back. Okay, now I'm going to push this through to the side slot, as you can see. Now it's locked here anyway, but I'm going to completely lock this with a thread and then cut this extra one off. See, this is this color is brilliant actually for the you know, like we use pheasant tail. This is a very good color, like you know, very close to the pheasant tail. Basic pattern, very simple to tie. And uh, now, what I'll do is add some huckle. This is a golden olive hen huckle, grizzly hen huckle actually, and dyed grizzly, uh, sorry, golden olive. So, if I can get this top tape out and just cut it gently a couple of turn and push it back and secure it completely and then with the scissor get this extra piece off 
now it's very delicate so what you have to do is just take your time here and don't put too much tension on these and stroke them one side because of this uh, golden olive um, makes a very nice natural look to the hako and represent the legs you know I'll show you once I'm finished and it's only like a one and one and a half turn once you reach to the stem that's fine and I take your time again and then lock it here get all these fiber out of the way first and gently lock it take your time avoid catching all this fiber and then I'm gonna be finish here As for the stem, just take this off. Just to check they are spread evenly. That looks okay. Just gonna hard varnish. Just take your time again. Just do it on the bead and slide it down. Or if you want to add some hot spot, uh, I'll just show you. Color would be red. So this is a red nail varnish. I mean, don't be careful with this because it's very tricky. If you get a needle, Just cover this little hole you know here and then use thin coat of UV rays. So there you have it as you can see it looks very realistic and it's great for the river grayling and brown trout. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.